mean, how many brothers we got that think he's strong? We got some strong sisters too, amen? amen. We, we think we're strong, but I'm here to tell you, uh, uh, you can't lift the doorpost of a city, the gate, the, the entryway, just pull it up out the foundation, put it on your shoulders. You don't have, Samson had supernatural strength. Mm -hmm. And truth be told, Samson should have stayed home. And, and that's the first point I want to talk about, Samson's sin. That's point number one, Samson's sin, Samson's sin. Samson should have stayed home. Right. See, that, that's how Samson's sin started because he didn't stay home. He wasn't in the environment. He wasn't in the place that he was supposed to be in. Uh, he should have kept himself in the correct environment. Samson, as a man, had sexual desire. And there's nothing wrong with that. God has a, a place at home for that. It's called marriage. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. See, God has a plan designed for Samson. And, and I've searched and I've searched and, and I can't really find anywhere that says that Samson got married again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Samson should have stayed home. Mm -hmm. uh, if he was at home, he never would have saw uh, uh, this woman, this, this prostitute in Gaza. Mm -hmm. If he'd have stayed home later on, we're gonna get. He never would have met Goliath. If he'd have stayed home, like his mom and dad told him years ago, is there never a woman of my own? If he had, if he had gotten married and stayed home, yeah, yeah, he, he wouldn't have been in this situation. Samson's sin was, uh, first off, he should have stayed home. Uh, 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 one day it says he went to Gaza, he saw her, and he went in to spend the night with her. Mm -hmm. So it was in his intention mm -hmm. uh, to stay with her all night. Uh, that, that, that's, that's what he was, that was his intention, was to stay all night. Uh, it, he, he planned this. And, and that's what I want you to see. Anybody, we always talk about, well, I fell. We fell in the sin. It, it snuck up on me. Sometimes we plan it. <laughs> this is a judge. He's been judged for 20 years. What's the Bible say? It, it says he went into what? That was his intention. His intention was to go stay all night. Mm -hmm. Samson's sin. Sam, see, see, first off, he should have stayed home. You see, meltdowns happen is when, okay, I, I, I know I'm not supposed to do it, but he, he planned this. He's going he gonna, he gonna to plan this. See, here he is. Here, he's not at home. He's in Jamaica. He's in the Bahamas. He's in Puerto Vallarta. He's, he's in, you know, someplace where folk can't see this. If this don't apply, then you're okay. Amen. Samson was out of town. He was in Vegas. And what happens in Vegas? No, it don't. Uh, <laughs> you can get into some stuff in Vegas and bring it home with you. Amen. You get back from Vegas, you can't pay the note. They come get your car. Amen. Because of what happened in? Vegas. Yeah, don't stay there. No, no, no. You can, you can catch some stuff in Vegas, bring it back with you. <laughs> don't stay there. Yeah. Mm. See, Samson, see, see, the first part with Samson's meltdown, it always starts with sin. It was Samson's sin that, that gave birth to the meltdown. Because see, he, he got involved with this prostitute in Gaza. You know, he, he intended to stay there all night. But the second thing I want to talk to you about is Samson's danger. First is Samson's sin. He, he, it's just, let's just call it what it is. He was a judge. He sinned. Amen. Amen. But with sin, there always comes danger. Sin always exposes us to an element of danger. It, it's the game of chance. I mean, you know, we, well, we'll take a chance. I'll take a chance here. I mean, this is not... This is a little sin. I'll do this one and I'll be okay. I'll do that. You, you ever played that game of chance? Mm -hmm. Don't say amen. <laughs> it, 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 but see, it always exposes us to an element of danger. Mm -hmm. Once again, he was behind enemy lines here in Gaza. The authorities were informed, and you know what? He didn't get to stay all night. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 verse 2 says the people of Gaza were told, Samson is here. Uh, uh, Samson had planned to stay all night, but his sleep was disturbed. Mm. The text said he got up in the middle of the night, didn't he? Yeah. His, his sleep was disturbed. Some theologians say, well, maybe he felt guilty about his sin. Laying there in the middle of the night, he couldn't stay there all night. His guilt, his, the spirit of God working on him caused him to get up out of his sleep. That, that, some say that. Some theologians say, well, no, no, maybe it was his guardian angel. Mm -hmm. You ever been someplace in something, doing something we're not supposed to do, and the voice and the Holy the spirit of God comes and taps you on your shoulder and wake up! Get out! Run! It doesn't matter whether it was him uh, 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 troubling within himself or whether it was the Spirit of God. He didn't, uh, uh, his sleep was disturbed. 
Have we ever been in a situation, get in, get, I've seen get into a situation where we, our sleep is disturbed? Mm -hmm. That's Samson. That's where he was. His, his sleep uh, was disturbed. And the Bible says when he got up, he went to the gates of the city. It's like there was a post. He walked through this gateway into the city. There was a post here, a post there. And then the, the, the support beam over time, he just lifted everything up out of the ground and just took the whole post with him up to the hill.